Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Middleware Technologies. In our last video, like we have seen like how we can manage a Kubernetes cluster using GitLab CI CD workflow. So in this video, like we are going to see like how we can share that Kubernetes cluster agent with multiple GitLab projects. So let us see like how we can achieve this in this video. So as I uh, showed in my last video, like I have the following environment wherein my GitLab server is running on Fedris server and my Kubernetes cluster is uh, running on K8 master and K8 node with one master and one worker node. Okay, so let me show you uh, my GitLab server. Let me log into my portal just to ensure that it is up and running. So this is my GitLab server portal and here you can see like we have set up this Kubernetes underscore IEC project uh, which will which has a agent. So you can go to the Kubernetes cluster and you can see that uh, we have this agent and this uh, with this agent uh, we are able to connect to our Kubernetes cluster. So this setup like you can just go through my last video and complete it, uh, which is a prerequisite for this video. Now, let us go to the procedure. So step one, ensure that GitLab agent for Kubernetes cluster is installed. So this is like, you can just go through my last uh, video, how to manage Kubernetes cluster using GitLab CI/CD workflow, and you can complete the setup for this demo. So once that is done, the next step that what we are going to do is, we are going to create a blank project and clone it. Okay, so in this step, like we are going to create a project named Hello Job. So let me go to my portal and let us create a blank project. Uh, in my dev namespace. And let us not put any files over there. So this is my blank project that we have created and let me clone this project locally. So I'll clone this project. Let me switch into that folder of the project and switch to main branch. Now we have our empty project ready. The next step is to update the Kubernetes IAC project Kubernetes agent configuration file. So this is uh, the project that we have created in our last video, which is used to manage the Kubernetes cluster. So in this project, like what we are going to do is we need to create this structure like uh, GitLab agent, agent name and config.yaml file. So let me just show you that uh, first let me go to that project Kubernetes IAC and let me cat that file like I have already that file available. So you need to update this project with the following configuration CI access project and the project type which is a namespace dev slash project name. So this basically tells that we are uh, giving the following project access to the Fedrest cube Kubernetes agent. Okay, so once that CI/CD uh, uh, that configuration uh, file is updated, you can just push the push the changes to the repository. Okay, so here you can see like uh, we have pushed the changes of that config.yaml file committed and push the changes to the main branch. The next step is we need to update the hello job project with the CI CD workflow and k job definition. So in, in this step like what we are going to do is we are going to go into our hello job project and uh, let us create this job yaml definition file. So 
so this is the yaml uh, definition file which we are going to deploy onto the kubernetes cluster and it is going to execute this following uh, perl command uh, in the container so once like your job definition is created now let us create the gitlab ci yaml file so this is basically the ci cd workflow that we are going to execute as a part of this project so i'll just copy this content and uh, this is say let me explain to you what exactly we are doing in this workflow so we have deploy stage that we are going to execute as a part of this workflow and here we are configuring the cluster uh, with the ca certificate ca certificate authority data which is basically the self signed certificate uh, data in base64 format so once that is done you can just do a config view then get the context that you can see and we will be using the context of the kubernetes iac uh, cluster so basically this is dev namespace kubernetes iac project and the kubernetes agent name that, that is fedris cube which is available in kubernetes underscore iac so we are going to use this context in order to connect with the cluster so once the connection is established like we are going to apply this job.yaml file in order to deploy our job onto the cluster then we can do kubectl get jobs so this is a simple workflow that we are going to execute as a part of this project so once the changes are done you can do uh, add commit that changes you can just put any comment update ci cd workflow and you can push the changes to the main branch so once the changes are pushed so once our ci cd pipeline is updated and the job definition is created uh, let us push those changes to the repository so these are the two files that we are going to push So now once the push has been completed to the repository we can uh, trigger the pipeline for this project now let us go to our gitlab project that is hello job and let us try to trigger the pipeline you can see the pipeline has been executed successfully and it has applied the job definition file i think i have already a job present so let me remove it from the kubernetes cluster And now let uh, we can run it again and we'll see that the job definition will be applied so you can see the job has been created let me go to the cluster and you can see the job has been created this one and also like now uh, like we have seen like how we can uh, update our pipeline and uh, we have seen like how we can trigger the pipeline and validate it the CICD pipeline has been executed the one important thing that we need to check is as we have shared the uh, Kubernetes uh, cluster agent with the 
uh, the following project that is hello job we can validate that by going to the hello job project operate kubernetes cluster and you will see that the fed rescue agent has been shared with the following project so this is how like you can share a kubernetes cluster agent which has uh, which has been created uh, with another project of the gitlab and you can use that agent in order to connect with the kubernetes cluster to manage and deploy your components so we have seen triggering the job and we have validated the job definition has been applied so this is what i wanted to show you in this video thank you all thanks for watching this video and you guys have a great day